Hello everyone, this is my flight review of Virgin Atlantic A330-300 from Washington Dallas to London Heathrow in business class. Since this is a flight review instead of a flight report, I will be sharing my impressions and opinions. I will be rating 5 categories, the aircraft, crew and service, seat, meals and the in-flight entertainment system on a scale of 1 to 5 stars. Here you can see the items I rate for each category. The final score is an average of the ratings of each item. At the end of this video, you will be able to see how the scores break down. Virgin Atlantic has a lounge at Dulles Airport. They call it the Clubhouse. The Clubhouse is very nice. They offer meals from a menu as opposed to having a buffet. Click on the link above if you would like to learn more about my flight review rating methodology. Boarding began on time. The first group to board are passengers in business class and with airline elite status. The business class cabin looks nice and modern. However, the seats facing away from the window and the single middle row of seats makes the cabin feel a bit awkward. The business class bar is very cool. Passengers can socialize and enjoy a cocktail away from their seats. I rate the aircraft and cabin 3.6 stars. I like the modern, sleek design and the bar, but I had to deduct some points because of the awkward seat positions. Now enjoy the sights and sounds of the takeoff. Let's take a look at the menu. Dinner service began with a beverage and popcorn.
main course was flavorful and the dessert was delicious. I did not have the chance to try the breakfast because I chose to sleep a little longer. I rate the meals 4.2 stars. Let's take a look at the amenity kit. The bag is provided by Herschel. The in-flight entertainment system has a good amount of TV shows and movies to choose from. The touchscreen is responsive, but I did not like how you have to swipe through the content. I was disappointed with the size and resolution of the screen. I give the in-flight entertainment 3.3 stars. The system is showing its age and Virgin Atlantic is in the process of upgrading it. Now let's take a look at the seat. There is a small shelf to place drinks, but not enough surfaces to place bigger items or work. The footrest looks small. But I am 5 foot 10 and when in bad mode the length was adequate. In my opinion, the biggest issue about the seat is that while in seat mode you can only recline a little bit. In order to turn it into a bed, you have to flip the seat over using these controls. So there is not an option to recline the seat between sitting up and bed modes. The flight attendants were very kind, funny and attentive. I give flight attendants and service 4.2 stars. The bed is very comfortable, but because of the reasons I mentioned earlier, I give the seat 3.1 stars. Virgin Atlantic is upgrading these awkward seats in their new aircrafts. Let's recap my scores. Aircraft and cabin 3.6, meals 4.2, seat 3.1, flight attendant and service 4.2, in-flight entertainment 3.3. Giving us a final score of 3.7. It was a nice flight, the flight attendants and meals were very good. However, Virgin Atlantic needs to upgrade the seats and they are in the process of doing so. Virgin Atlantic is a great airline with very nice lounges, cool on board bars and amazing crew. Now, let's enjoy the sights and sounds of the landing.
Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and leave a comment. See you next time. Welcome to London Heathrow. The local time is coming up to 6.40. While we taxi to the terminal, please keep your seatbelt fastened until the captain turns them off. All of us need to remain seated and keep the aisles and exits clear. We'll return any items we've stowed towards